Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Rob Stark and in today's video I have a special guest with me. I have Keith, the number one player in the world. He's about a thousand trophies ahead of everyone else for the second player. And today we wanted to go over ranking each of the brawlers in Smash and Grab. And I wanted to see how similar or how different our opinion would be. What's up Keith? How you doing? Uh, pretty good. How about you? Doing good. Thanks for coming on, man. Uh, no problem. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, so let's start out with our bottom three. Who do you have ranked as the 16th? Bar oh, wait. Actually, real quick, before we start, just as a disclaimer, for this list, how we do it is it's more like if they're ranked at the bottom, it's not that they're bad. It's not that you can't be effective with them. It's we think it's harder to win with them, and they're not as good on as many maps. I think each brawler has their own maps that they're better at. All right, that's just a disclaimer. All right, but now let's start at the bottom. Who do you have at 16? 16, I have Bo. You have Bo? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure where to rank Bo. I had I ended up having him higher up. I'm guessing prior to his balance changes, you probably would have ranked him a lot higher. Oh, yeah, definitely. If he still had the four minds. No yep. Vote. Okay, I had Nita at 16. Nita at 16, really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think since all the the health increases of some of the brawlers, I think that uh, impacted a lot of my rankings for the mid-range characters. Hmm. All right, who do you have at 17? 17, I go Terra. Terra? Okay. Yeah. Okay, the I had her... changes were pretty brutal for her. Yeah, I think it's kind of sad. I think she should definitely get another buff again. Yeah. Those were some harsh changes. That was like the Shelly effect. Definitely. But I don't really think, worse. yeah, she wasn't as OP though. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I had El Primo at 17. Ooh, really? Uh huh. Okay, okay. All right, who'd you have at 18? 18, I go Rico. Rico! He's too, uh, too range focused for SNG maps, and I only, he's only like viable on uh, one or two, I find, like Hard Rock mm -hmm. Mine. Okay. Other than that, it just doesn't work out too well. Yeah. I wasn't sure to rank Rinko. I always found him pretty underwhelming. I'm interested to see where you have him compared to Colt. Not that they're the same, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, now let's go all the way to the top. Let's start out with number one, and then we're just going to work our way down. So who do you have as your number one brawler in Smash and Grab? The number one is still Crow. No Crow? After the balance changes, it does not matter. He's got to be one of the easiest brawlers to use. Mm -hmm. He works on every single map, and True. his health is just amazing for getting away with gems. Okay. Man, I, I really dropped him, I think. Well, not that far, but just having, I feel like him having lower health is really hurting him a lot now, but he's definitely still really strong. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, my number one, I have his Dynamite. Number one, Dynamite. Okay. Yeah. I, th I think uh, throwers are starting to take over. I remember back in the beginning of the beta, man, Dynamite and Barley were probably the worst brawlers except in Heist. And man, has it changed, I think. Yeah, they were definitely not viable at all in SMG, and you're starting to see them a lot now. Yeah, they're everywhere in pretty much every game type, too. All right. And then so on top of that, my number two is Barley. Yeah, I, he's pretty high on my list as well. Yeah, I think he's gotten really strong. It's just really easy to get hits. He oh, yeah, and his ult is just terrorizing. Yeah. He covers the whole map. It's hard to escape if you're anywhere in his range. Yeah. Yeah. So who do you have it to? Well, my number two is pretty funny now because I have Nita. <laughs> no way, you have Nita. <laughs> yeah, Nita is my number two. Okay, well, hey, this guy's the number one player. He's got a... A solid mid-range attack and her ability to like strafe shoot corners and like how her shot kind of goes around the corner can be great for controlling. Plus, you always have the bear down; it's causing a problems and distractions. Yeah. Yep. All right, there we go. Here's the differences already. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my number three is a bit of a surprise. I think I'm gonna okay. guess you don't have this brawler probably that close to where I ranked them. But I really like the addition of this brawler, and I think I think you have to do specific comps, specific team comps with them, but I think when you do, it works really well. So my number three is Pam. 
Yeah, I could kind of see where you're going with that. Yeah, okay. I, I think Pam is honestly by far and away the best gem carrier in Smash and yeah. Grab, and she I think that's there. yeah, and I think that's partly why I have her ranked so high. I think it's just easy to hold on to your gems and keep control with her. All right, so who's your three? My three, I go Barley now. Okay. It's, as we stated before, just insane DPS counters almost every brawler, like especially the spawners, like the bears, the turrets. Like that's the only real counter against the Pam. Yeah. True. All right, so what about for number four? Number four, I have Shelly. Shelly. Yes, if you can use her on the, well, even some of the more open maps, you can control well with her, but yeah. most of the, the regular maps have some bush at least, and you can use sure. that to get close enough to where she still does enough damage, and her alt is just deadly. Yeah, I find it interesting you have Shelly and Tara so far apart. Yeah, well, I don't know. I just find Tara's reload speed along with the HP nerf is just too much. Yeah. That's true. Okay, so my number four is Crow. Okay. Finally yeah. makes makes an appearance. <laughs> Crow's still really strong. Oh, Definitely yeah. no question. No doubt. Yep. I think I'm glad it's not where it was before the nerf, where it was literally Crow every game, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. It was at the point where you'd see one, and it would just be like, you'd roll your eyes. Yep. It was just like, it was old Shelly, basically. Yep. It was just an, an annoyance. Uh huh. You'd see the white crow, the dirty yeah. drummers uniting. <laughs> exactly. Okay, and then let's go to five. So my five, I think this character's really taken a rise recently, and that's Brock. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. I think Brock's really strong right now. Yeah. Pretty much in any combination. So fast. Yep, reloads fast, so super easy to hit multiple oh, yes. people. Oh yeah. Yep. Who's your five? Number five for me, this is, I don't know, this might be a little more personal preference, but it's Jesse, just because, okay. I don't know, I find she's very easy to hit with, and when you get her uh, attack up high, she's doing a 200 per, yeah. and if you're, you're hitting a lot of shots, the turrets are almost always going to be up on the map, mm -hmm. and that thing just puts in work, that can be a game changer at any time. Yeah, I really like Jesse. my problem with Jesse is all the... Brock, Colt, all of them now have the same health, and yeah. then there's so much throwers now. You can't. It's harder yeah, to like hide her turret that as well. Too the uh, insurgence of barley and dynamite kind of yep takes Jesse down a bit. Yep. All right. So who's your six then? Six. I have El Primo. El Primo. Yeah. I really. Think he's the best tank in the game, to be honest. He's just crazy high HP. He's got the range on his attack. Uh -huh. And the area of effect is huge sometimes, especially like with the new like meta with people uh, trying to gather in the Pam heal. He can just jump right in and do some massive damage. That's true. Yeah, he survives a while. All right. So my six is another character that got buffed recently, and that's Poco. Okay, yeah. I think Poco is really underrated right now. I think people are just not used to him dealing a lot of damage because it is pretty easy to get two people in this shot often but yeah yeah I, I think i'm a little guilty of underestimating poco at least at first for the patch i, I always i kind of thought that he would still be as bad but then a uh, mm -hmm. couple people on my team gave him a try and it kind of changed my mind yeah he's not a very sexy character to play <laughs> <laughs> no but i think the damage buff and then combined with his super being one shot less to get to it I think yeah, that it was that nice. makes him it was strong. Needed, at least. It was, it yeah. Was I like necessary. I like where he is right now. Yeah, before okay. that, he was one of the worst brawlers in the game by far. I found he was useless, pretty much. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so my seven is Jesse. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I still think she's strong. I really like her a lot. I do think she's not as strong now, but she. I think she's in a good place overall. Yeah. I think if any of the other brawlers, like other long range brawlers, get any sort of nerf, I think she'll rise up pretty fast again. I think she's pretty balanced. All right, who do you have at seven? Um, my number seven is Brock. Brock? Yep, definitely moved up on my, my tier list. Yeah, he's definitely really strong. 
Yeah, he's one of my highest brawlers right now in the game. I think I have like 725 trophies with him. It was just brutal. That's a lot, yep. Yeah. <laughs> just crazy. Like, you get two people in his alt, and you all, you basically have another alt ready. And that yeah. Is just crazy. Yeah. I think I think how much his alt charges up his super probably needs to be changed, and then same with Dynamite. Yeah, yeah definitely. Dynamite's alt charges his super oh, again too fast. Oh, ridiculous on Heist, especially, yeah. Yep. But on SMG, it's not as much of an issue. It's, like, incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the double hits. Because, like, when he gets, you can get, like, two people no matter what HP, and he gets another one back. Yep. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, who do you have at eight? Number eight, speaking of the, the dynamite. Goal, okay. The man himself. Yeah. All right. Good timing. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think he's just, uh, he, he's, like, a, a little bit uh, lower than Barley on my list. He's just a more defensive Barley, I find, like. Yeah. He's better at hit staying back and like if your team has all the gems per se and they're running at you, it's very hard to advance on a mic. Yep. Yeah. And there's enough walls these days. Oh yeah, definitely. The new maps especially. Yeah. Okay, my number eight is and now maybe I'm regretting this. <laughs> my number eight is Bo. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, well, he's still not that bad. It's just it really depends on the map I find. Yeah. He is a little underwhelming. I think I had him sort of high because I think he's a good gem carrier because he's long range and has a lot of health. Yeah, definitely. But his his mines are okay. His damage is okay. He's sort of like the jack of all trades, not great at anything. Uh-huh, yeah. Well-rounded. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm interested to see where you have this brawl I'm about to say. My number nine is Colt. Colt, okay. Yeah, I, I think that. he does... I don't know. There's probably not many brawlers who can do nearly as much damage as him when he's on. If a cult is hitting his shots, so hard to get through. And I think oh, that. Definitely. And now that he has that more health, he can really be a, a lot more aggressive. I think. But I I do think you have to sort of fit a team around him a little bit as well. Yeah, you kind of need a team that's gonna like open up the map. I find because he's mm-hmm. not like the best when there's corners. Yeah. If they can just hide pretty easily. But if you open it up, oh my god, my Colt will go insane. Yep. So who do you have in nine? My number nine is Spike, actually. Okay. I still like Spike uh, a lot. Yeah, I really like his just... I feel like he could have a little more HP. I wish they would have never nerfed mm-hmm. his HP way back then. Yeah. That's my one problem with Spike is he's sort of an aggressive character. Like yeah, if, exactly. If you just get him and his health isn't upgraded, it's really hard, I think, to play him. Oh, well. oh yeah, I couldn't imagine. Yeah. All right, what about your number 10? My number 10 is Pam, because she can just absolutely take over a game when she gets that turret down. If the other team can't deal with it, oh, my God. All yeah. Your team gets inside of there, and it can just absolutely wreck the other team. Yeah, I really like Pam. As I stated earlier... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the only people that can really counter her are Mike and Barley. Like, uh, if the team mm-hmm. doesn't have a thrower, they're in trouble. Maybe a Brock sometimes. Yeah, Brock's mm-hmm. alt or something, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Depends how well the other teammates are pushing them up. Right, yeah, if you can box them in. Yep. So my number 10 is Mortis. And okay. Yeah, I think he's really taken a fall. I think a lot of people still probably overestimate him. Um, I really... Even, like, before he was nerfed before, I actually didn't like him a lot. But he's sort of, like, one of those characters that just wins certain matchups. No matter what, yeah. it's just sort of his mechanic. Yeah, he can abuse some characters pretty badly. Right. When he gets his bats, too. Like Dynamite, oh, yeah. Piper, other other characters. All right, and then now my 11 is Spike. Okay, yeah. See, we're getting pretty close now. We're getting closer. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting to see if we'll get... I think we actually... <laughs> might, I think there's one brawler left. No, actually, no. I don't think we're going to have any that are the same rank. <laughs> well, hey. A lot of different opinions. Yeah, it's a, it's a very versatile game. Like Lots of different uh, options. So sure. Everybody's going to have a different experience with every brawler as well. Yeah, it certainly depends on who you're playing with, what they like to play. Yeah. Whatever, a lot of different factors. Okay. So who is your 11? It's Mortis, so we're only one yeah. off on that. Okay, yeah. I find he's still great going uh, aggression. I, I can't right. ever use him as a gem carrier anymore, but that's been like long out of the meta, I find. Yep, yeah, he definitely can't. If he carries gems, he's pretty much just going to give it yeah. to him. 
Yeah, he's Unless best he's... at staying in the bushes and sneak attacking like one or two enemies, getting his yep. bats, chaining that, and just staying on aggression while the teammates set up him in the middle. Exactly. Every once in a while I play games in my mini and there's always a Mortis who's going in and grabbing the gems and not even attacking anyone. <laughs> yeah. And I'm always sad. All right. Yeah, well, it seems like the right option at the beginning. Yeah, no, I mean, the right he's, start of the game. <laughs> he's, he's got the dash. He's definitely, especially yeah. if, the, if you're not used to Mortis, he can be pretty hard oh, to yeah. hit. That's for sure. Okay, what about your number 12? My number 12 is Poco. I think he's very balanced right now. Yep. And his, uh, his uh, attack is just so easy to hit with. And the, the DPS buff going back up to 200 per hit is just, I find it's key. Mm-hmm. I also, I also think something that helped him too is the health increase of a lot of brawlers made his heal more useful. Thanks. Yeah, more room to heal. Yeah, because right. those like 600 health brawlers who before, you know, they'd be at 300 health and you're not sure, or 400 health, you're not sure if you should heal them because they're technically low health, but you're not going to get that much value. Now it's a little different. Yeah, that's a great point. Like before you could only really get full value from healing like a primo or a bull. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So my number 12 is Ricochet. So I really wasn't sure where to put him because in all honesty, I don't actually think he's that great right now. I'm just, he has decent health and he does, his reload is so fast and he can do good damage, but he does seem underwhelming, honestly. Yeah, he's. I find him to be one of the most underwhelming characters in the game. I don't know. It's just I, I find it's the way his bullets like travel. I find it's harder yeah. to hit than with Colt, definitely. It's hard to get more than like two hits or whatever from one of his shots. They yeah, just and to... there's just not many S and G maps where you can capitalize on the bouncing off of walls. Mm -hmm. That's the main problem, I think. Yeah, there's only a couple shots you can really hit off walls yeah. sometimes. Okay, and then my number 13, I have Shelly, a lot further down. I don't know, I just, <laughs> I feel like she's also underwhelming. I think with the the range nerf, I think was really needed, but I find she's easier to avoid these days. I don't know. Yeah, if... she's definitely easier to box out. It's, it's just getting through that box that's the issue with Shelly. I find once you're in, you're safe, right. but you just right. break that wall. If if you have control of the map with a Shelly and she's behind a wall, oh yeah, it's the other team is trapped. You're gonna have to get through, you know, a thousand damage before you yep. can even kill her. The, the alt in the bush just waiting for you. Though, for yeah, <laughs> you have no idea. Favorite surprise. <laughs> yep. All right, who do you have at thirteen? Thirteen for me is Colt. Okay. Like we were talking about earlier, he can be absolutely deadly. It just requires like the right comp and the right map. Yeah, no, it's very true. But he is he is sort of he does require certain maps to have those. Yeah, lanes. I also find he's one of the more like uh, I don't know like skill capped brawlers where it's harder to hit mm -hmm. all the shots. But once you like try him out a lot and get like very used to the way he shoots and you start landing more bullets, you'll find he's very very strong. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely true. I think Colt and probably Ricochet too have one of the highest skill caps. I think if yeah. you're if you can actually get really good with Ricochet and you know all of the places you can bounce shots and hit certain areas, I do think you you could be a really effective Ricochet. But yeah, definitely. It's hard to really spend that time, I think. Okay, what about your 14? My 14 is Bull. Because okay. he's, he's basically, I don't know, I find him to be like a watered-down Shelly for SNG at least. Mm-hmm. I find he's only, like, really good on maps like Bone Box, where there's, like, bushes along right. the whole side, where you can get right in the faces of enemies easily. Yeah, you can. They're just going to outrange you. Yeah. They're just going to charge their ults. It'll walk up to people from the really yeah. useful. Yeah, I, I just find no situation where you'd use a bull over a primo, honestly. Yep. I would definitely agree with that. Yeah, I think bull's... Not very good right now, yeah. but I think that's just his mechanic. I'm not sure there's really a buff. There's maybe maps you can do. I think they could have some more bushy maps where El Primo and Bull would be really strong. Yeah. That might be interesting to just have one map, sort of maybe like Snake Prairie except a little less. I think that could be fun. That would be interesting on SNG, yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of probably really chaotic, a lot of swings. 
Maybe not good for like a competitive, but it'd be fun, I think. Oh yeah. Alright, so my fourteen is Piper. Okay. I think she's really, really fallen. I honestly think she's probably overrated for most people. She's sort of like the flashy character that, you know, gets the sexy kills because it's just bam bam. Yeah. But I find her to be the most fun in the game. Like when she mm-hmm. first came out, I loved Piper. Like I yep. got her to 500 in a couple of days, just back when before the the update, the grind yep. was insane for Piper. Me too. I played her so she's much the first few days. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, she's one of the more fun mechanics, but her reload speed's yeah. way too slow. And now that all the other long range brawlers have more health than her. Yeah, and they keep reducing the damage. It's just mm. it's becoming the too much. I found. Yep, and I still think Plus, there's. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no worries. I uh, just uh, find you need a, a really good map for her as well, especially. Yeah, that's for sure. And these days you need sort of a good team with her, too. She sort of needs, like, a crow. Have yeah. people to keep them low People are going to push the other team forward so you have room to snipe because if they're getting close to you, you're just going to defeat the purpose of the piper. Right, exactly. All right, what about last one? What about your 15? My 15 is piper. Okay, <laughs> there you go. So we were close on a lot of these. Yeah, yeah, a couple of them at the end just started coming together. <laughs> yeah, so my 15 was Terra. Okay, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah. All right, man, so we had a lot that were one-off. We didn't have any that were the exact same, so that was pretty interesting. My top three was Dynamite Barley and Pam, and yours was Crow Nita Barley. Yes, sir. All right, pretty interesting. All right, well, those are the opinions of the number one brawler in the game right now, guys. So I think his he's got a lot more experience than me. I'm only, like, top 130. But this guy is a beast. I think it's interesting. Definitely matters for team composition. I don't think you guys should just look at this and say, I'm going to take the top three brawlers. Team composition definitely matters, but I think these are probably the most consistent ones you can be with. All right, thanks for coming on, Keith. Love having you. Any uh, shout-outs you want to do? Uh, just for the Invictus Brawl Stars Twitter and my own, I guess. Keith underscore Brawl Stars. All right, I'll link it in the description. I'll link Invictus' Twitter description as well. All right, thanks for coming on, Keith. Glad to have you. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.